Okay, so let's do some examples. So basically, let me draw a picture of what's going to happen. So let's say you have f of x is x plus 2 and g of x is x minus 3. Okay, and then we want to do f compose of g. And let's call this um, 4. First, we can rewrite this as the first function is on the outside. The second function goes on the inside. And so what's going on here is, let's say you had two machines. This is your f of x machine. And then this is your g of x machine. And so inside of this machine, you have the following x plus 2. And over here, you have x minus 3. So what happens is you first want to visit the machine that is in the parentheses. So we're going to work with g of x. And so what we're going to do is we have a 4 here. The 4 is going to replace the x. So anywhere you see an x, we're going to replace it with 4. So we get 4 minus 3, which is 1. Okay. So that's going to be your input is 4. And then this machine gives you an output of 1. So the 1 comes out. And then it's going to go to the next function, in this case, f. So it comes around. It looks for the x. And wherever you see the x, we replace the 1. And then this will give us the final answer, which is the composition is equal to 3. Okay. So notice if I reverse this, what if I have g first? Okay, so g of f of 4. Then if you still have your two machines, this is f of x, and this is g of x. So f of x, we have x plus 2, and g of x, we have x minus 3. So first, we would visit the inside function. So this 4 is going to go to the function f, look for the x, substitute the x with the 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. This is your output, and now it's going to visit the second function. So wherever you see the x, it replaces that x by that output. 6 minus 3 is um, 3. So g compose, g compose of f of 4 is equal to 